Hello everyone, Craig Chamberlain with CraigTheTechTeacher.com here. You ever had one of those days? Today and yesterday have been one of those days. Thank you guys for joining me. This is IT Life where I give you insights into the real world of IT. The good, the bad, and the ugly. This week's been pretty ugly. Sometimes you have good weeks, sometimes you have bad weeks. And this show is sponsored by patrons. If you're not yet a patron and need your guys' help, make sure you check out the patrons' uh, all the benefits and how you'll be helping uh, in the links below, as well as um, top patrons for this month are Jacob Williams with Wild Academy at wildacademy.com and Precision Electric, Industrial Automation Service Center, uh, Drive Sales, Electronics, Printed Circuit Board Repair, you name it, we do it. So hey, for the past two days I've been trying to get a hard drive, a real standard laptop hard drive from a laptop that no longer functions transposed onto a virtual machine now if you if you've done this before it's not that difficult it's not supposed to be that difficult and maybe some of you guys out there who are watching the show have some suggestions for me um, but uh, what happened was is I used a little program called disk 2 VHD and this program will take a hard drive that you plug in as a USB drive and so I used a little um, I don't have it on me, but it's a little uh, USB hard drive kit, and it converts any hard drive basically into a USB drive. And then I created an, a VHD image, which is a virtual box image off of that drive. And then once you create that image, you can go in and create a virtual box, which is just virtualization software. For those of you who don't know what that is, basically you can run an operating system on top of your operating system. So I can run Windows XP on top of Windows 7. Uh, that's how I'm doing my Windows 8 series. Uh, I could do Windows 8 on top of Windows 7 and things like that. So essentially that's how it works. Now what you can do with this is I took a, a, ba a bad laptop, I made a hard drive out of it, a virtual hard drive out of it, and, and for the customer, they were gonna be able to open up their original laptop on the desktop of a new Windows 7 machine. So they could still access your original laptop as a virtual machine. Now this whole thing worked great. Before I even ordered the laptop, I tested it. it worked fine on my desktop. Then something changed. So I put I put the the virtual machine on the new laptop that I ordered, which was a Lenovo T550 530, sorry. And it just it just keeps power cycling nonstop. I've tried virtually everything I can think of to try to get this thing working and reading the hard drive correctly but it always blue screens and then recycles it will boot fine though in safe mode which tells me it's a driver issue but i don't know how to get around it i've tried every possible configuration i can think of so some frustrations here in the it life today and it's just part of the job that's that's part of like i don't understand it it's like a sickness it it no matter how much something drives you crazy like it's a love-hate relationship you know, like I'm drawn to it it's like I have to know why you know I have to know why it's not working like now it's we've already lost money on the job I mean it was supposed to take a half hour because I had the virtual machine created it was just a copy and paste thing and now I've probably spent eight hours on it you know trying to get it to work and I still cannot get this thing to boot up that way now people are saying hey Craig why don't you just reinstall Windows XP on it and be done with it well, they've got proprietary software on there that has a license that you cannot move, and they also don't have access to the original disks. And this is industrial software, so it's not like stuff you can just go to Walmart or even go online and find anymore. It's just nowhere to be found. So my question for you guys today is, have you ran into problems that are like this, and how do you deal with the frustrations and stress? Personally, you're probably going to see me putting my phone in my dresser drawer and disconnecting for a, for like a half a day just cuz i i get like i get bitter and angry it hurts my ego when i can't fix something and then i'll come back tomorrow and and then i'll uh, try again it's pretty much how i deal with it some people tell me go for a jog exercise Whew. That's it for today's IT Live. Thank you guys for joining in. Uh, thank you, patrons, for uh, being supporters of the show. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow and all week. Remember, I'm working on the Windows 8 series. Plenty more of that to come. I'll see you guys in the next video.